Hi everyone, this is David from Noites. I recently released a new single with my other musical project Magic Gardening Club and I'm going to do a quick analysis of the musical production behind it that may help you when you are writing your own songs. First of all, I'm going to do a quick listen to the song, analyzing the parts it has so you can see a big picture of the instruments and production behind. In the video description you have the link to the song on Spotify so you can listen to all the parts of the song to better understand this video. Remember that on my website noiches.com you have many articles with more detail with a step-by-step -step explanation on how to get its sound, downloads and all the presets I use. The song starts with an intro, then the verse 1 and 2 with different vocals from Erika and me, then an instrumental here in the pre-chorus, then the chorus, then verse 3, 4, 5 and 6 with different melodies and vocals, and then again one chorus. Okay, so it starts with an intro with a distorted guitar. The sound has three chords in this part. That's all. Here we have the distorted guitar. Then my vocals come in with only one track. Then Erika's voice come in. in Erika has a very sweet voice, very similar to the singer of Many Trust. In fact, a long time ago we made a remake of a song by Many Trust that you can see on my channel. I'm going to leave the link over here. In this part, a melodic bass and a synth also appear. Then we get to the bridge where a guitar plug appears at the same time as the intro solo. Then we have the first chorus where there are a lot of layers. We have this treble melody. This electric bass. We have the distorted guitar. And in this part, we have a lot of tracks of vocals here from me and Erika. There's nothing in the world. After this first chorus comes another much calmer burst to provide contrast. Here the drums have no hi-hat, there is no bass and the harmony is only supported by an electric piano. Afterwards there is another similar burst with Erika's vocals. And then I return again with my vocals with another melody with the guitar strumming imitating an acoustic guitar. Finally there is a fourth verse with Erika's voice where the bass and a synth melody appear. I like the way we exchange Erika's voice and mine in its verse as response to finally reach the second chorus. This chorus is similar to the first one and it ends with a fade out. 
Okay, so let's go into detail about some of the instruments in each part. Starting with the drums in the intro, I use the Addicted Drums 2 with the Reels Machines kit for the 909 kick and snare sounds. On another track I have only the hi-hat separate with this effect with the Google to give difference between its hit. And then there are two percussion tracks, one with a more artificial sound and one with a shaker. Let's listen to all the drums together. So about the scenes, I'm going to do a quick review. We have an electric piano here. Then one brace sound and this bass synth. For the guitar of the intro, I have used the guitar rig with the cat effect, which is distortion, and then a phaser here. Then I remove some EQs of noise here. Then mine and Erika's voices enter. I recommend you to watch some of my other videos where I talk about the effect change I use, which is this. This synth also appears in verse 2 with the automated decay to make this modulation. Next to this synth appears the bass that I have recorded by line. I used the Maserati plugin then a compressor and some EQ. Then we have the Prochorus with an instrumental with this guitar with these effects Coming to the chorus we have four layers of synths to make the melody that we have seen before And together we have also the distorted guitar here so for the vocals here we have four tracks of my voice and three tracks of Rika's playing at the same time to give that density of sound that's From the first chorus we move on the much calmer verse with drums filtered with the good hair Lofi. Listen to the difference. In this part there are four verses of voices from Erika and me exchanging different melodies. Later there is a guitar recorded with a microphone directly to the strumming of an electric guitar and paced through the super tab with a chorus reflection preset to give that drunk sound. And then it returns to the chorus repeating the same instruments that we have seen before. So that's all, I hope you enjoyed this quick review of this song. Remember that you can download all the presets, samples and tracks of this song and many more on my Patreon. 
This video is possible thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon, so thank you very much. See you on the next video. Bye bye. Peace.